What is up guys, today is Sunday, January 30th, 2022. I'm feeling pretty good today, and I just got five new Pokemon packs that just arrived in the mail. Um, these are Japanese Pokemon packs of um, Sword and Shield 9, which is S9 Star Birth. Uh, that's the Japanese name for it. It is the Japanese counterpart to Brilliant Stars, which will be releasing on February, I think, 25th. And um, the Japanese version released uh, earlier in January, so it was like two weeks ago or so. And each booster pack features five cards, and there are no guarantees. Um, the booster boxes in the Japanese uh, the Japanese packs have 30 packs of five cards each. And in this set, there is a 100-card base set checklist. And the V cards, there are eight regular V cards. Uh, Shaman, Charizard, Luminion, Raichu, Whimsicott, Honchkrow, Flygon, and Arceus. And then four of them have V-Stars as well. And V-Stars are a new, are a new um, concept introduced in... Um, in this set for the first time ever, and they look absolutely fantastic. And uh, from what I've seen, there should be 27 secret rares in total. I mean, in, in the Japanese packs, they don't tell you how many there are, um, but uh, I checked online, and those include secret rare V full arts, rainbow rares, gold rares. So, like, the best possible outcome today is we hit either that Arceus from this set or um, one of these packs, we'll find a secret rare of some sort. So, five packs. I purchased them for $15, so uh, not too bad, about $3 a pack, and uh, wish me luck. And let's get this opening underway. And I think with Japanese Pokemon packs, it's one from the back, if I'm not mistaken. So, we'll do that. Alright, so we first have a trainer. I think that's a Magmar. Um, can't remember the name of that one. Should remember that. And we have a rare of uh, Torterra. Wow. Wow. So this is a hollow card. So in the Japanese sets, they have commons, uncommons, rares, and then they have um, they have on here they have like double rares, triple rares, super rares, and like um, HR. I don't I don't know exactly what that is um, supposed to mean, but that's pretty sick. So we did get a rare from this one. Um, the I do love the Japanese hollows personally. I like them more than the uh, English hollows by the by the way they refract the light. So I'm super happy with that. So that's. That's like a half hit, I would say. I wouldn't say that's like a like a V or a V star, but that's definitely something. All right, moving on to pack number two. A mag mortar, and then the Shinx. Um, can't remember the name of that one. Sorry, guys, I'm just getting back into Pokemon for the first time in a long time, so just getting them directly. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a rare RR, so I'm guessing that's a V card. And this one is, oh my god, it is a Charizard V. Let's go. I know it's just the regular, but I'm super stoked. I've never pulled a Charizard V, um, or a Charizard EX, or a GX, or anything for that fact, for that matter of fact. And I'm super stoked to pull that. Boom. That's set, uh, that's card number 14 in the 100 card set. So, I know for a fact that these aren't weighed, which I'm super happy about. Um, so maybe I'll even put the eBay seller's link in that description for where I got the packs. Um, if you guys do want to try that out. Alright, pack number three. So we've been off to a really, really good start. Hopefully we can keep this going. Let's see what we can get. That's a Dusclops, I think. And then that's like a Gabite or something. And we have an Uncommon for our last one. I think that's the Sandy Cloak version of that Pokemon. I can't remember the name. It's like a Burmy or something. All right, pack number four. So although not the greatest amount of cards, it is very, very fun opening these. And I do like how smooth the cards are. And we have another rare. Boom, a Moltres Hollow. Moltres rare. That's absolutely stunning. I love these Japanese hollows so much ever since I've ever seen them a few years ago um, when I first started collecting, or a good few years ago, actually. All right, moving on to pack number five of five. Let's see what we can pull. One from the back. Wish me luck. We got another mag mortar. Another one of these. And then that's a... Uh, Buizel? I don't think so. And then we have an Uncommon, another one of these. So that's the pack opening right there. So five packs, 25 cards total. 
Uh, three of our packs had non-uncommon hits, and one of them had the Charizard V. So, our quick recap of three major notable cards, Torterra Rare Hollow, Moltres Rare Hollow, and a Charizard V. So, out of five packs, honestly, like, I couldn't complain. Um, if I had just hit even the V or just the, or just these two, I would have been already more than happy because I think we did slightly beat the odds here um, if we had just hit one or the other. So, yeah, so I'll leave that right there, and I'll put these cards out for you guys to see. Um, hopefully, I'll come up with some new videos to put out soon, depending on how um, different mail statuses are. I will have a couple of Shining Fates ETBs coming in, so I might do a Shining Fates uh, Elite Trainer Box video in the uh, upcoming few days. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.